Whoa, another design tool. I can't believe this last few years, so many new design tools. This time it's Framer X. But honestly, I'm quite excited about this tool. So in this video, I want to cover why I didn't use Framer up until now, but why I'm so excited about giving Framer X a try and how I think it compares to products like Sketch or Envision Studio and other development tools like Webflow. Let's get started with why I haven't used it up until now. So basically when Framer came to the market, it was basically positioned as a prototyping tool. You could do complicated and nice interactions over there, but honestly, the hustle of moving and learning a new tool and by the way framer has kind of a learning curve to, to it and i'm not afraid of learning curve if i think there's like 10x value to being able to do things yourself like in webflow webflow has a learning curve but my ability to develop websites myself is like it's worth learning but framer x just to have nicer prototypes it wasn't really worth my time and so i kept using my old process of doing design in sketch prototyping it with Envision and that was that was a pretty solid process. Now Envision Studio was really exciting when it came out because it got a lot of the nice animation and ability to do complex interactions within one software. So that was a great progress but there is still something that lacks in the current design software when you think about product design. The, there are two different kind of flows and thinking and needs when you're designing websites and when you are designing actual products. And I think that most software geared for websites and the whole concept of having artboards and, and different screens is more appropriated to website design. Whereas when you're doing product design, sometimes you have the same screen, but a lot of the components on it might change, might have different states a lot of them have kind of hover or other types of interactions on them and so the the concept of artboards does not always work for new types of design we kind of force the artboard context and right now i'm working on a project that has like around 50 artboards and it's not because it's a dashboard with maybe five screen but i have to have 50 artboards just because there's different you know uh, states to every screen that it's not ideal and the thing about Framer X is that it looks like it's oriented to think like React development. Now, I'm, I'm you know, promoting the idea of full stack designers and I think that designers should be able to think like developers and to be able to own as much of the process as possible because they'll be able to deliver better products and, and services and they'll be super much more valuable. And I think that the process that I have for website design, for web design, where I can own the whole design process from designing in Sketch into production in Webflow, that is perfect. But for product design, that process is still not perfect. And by the way, I've been talking to Webflow for a lot of times like, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to do product design with Webflow, but I'm actually kind of forcing it. It's not ideal. Webflow was based for web design again, websites design, not web app design. And where I think that Framer X kind of positioned itself is we're gonna be the platform to design from start to finish apps, whether it's mobile apps or web apps. Now, I think that the biggest problem today in, in the design kind of space process, teams process is the what's called single source of truth right you're doing something as a designer then you know you're doing it in sketch you're moving it into envision then the design the developers take it and turn that into react components and develop it and, and you know it goes forward and you never know what is the latest version what is how do things really look like and the fact the, the reason that this happens is because designers are kind of disconnected from the real you know code developed component that actually is live later on on the website or in the app. And I think that the best amazing thing that FramerX allows to do to you know create actual React components from your design, this is a real game changer, game changer because it will allow designers to own more of the process and have a single source of truth in one place where you know developers can always come into. They have a lot of cool ideas in there, such as kind of an app store or the kits that you can create for your own design system, whether it's open source, kind of like GitHub or you know, clothes for your own team and, and company, which I think is a really, really neat idea. And just the way that, you know, from watching the videos and the demos, the way that 
you are able to design kind of create stacks and, and lists and components from your actual design I think this is so smart and it's the the approach that was taken with the software is to be dedicated for product design and I think it's gonna make our work much more productive productive faster more efficient and better result and so I'm looking forward to learning this I also think that the way they developed it is kind of like they went to work with the design teams in you know the biggest tech companies and work with them to kind of do customer development and see that it fits their needs so obviously it's going to be geared I think more to big uh, big teams in, in design uh, in the design industry but I also hope that I'll be able to use it in, as a freelance designer and with the startups that I'm working with so I'm looking forward to learning this I think I'm pretty sure there'll be kind of a learning gap into this even though they're trying to say how simple it is so maybe it will be simple but even if it's not gonna be simple I think this is kind of an investment that is worth taking as a designer because I'm pretty sure that you know looking into the future five years from now there's just no way that designers will not own the whole process from idea concept design into the end code uh, end of the process and so I really think this is a great step in that direction congrats framer looks like it's a really really awesome product can't wait for it to come up uh, if you haven't signed up you have to sign up for this kind of a waiting list and they put you in line and ask you to share blah 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 I'm somewhere like in the thousands <laughs> thousands more before I can get my beta version but I'm really excited about this hey guys maybe you can bump me up in the <laughs> in my queue now that I've did this video about you because I'm really looking forward to giving this a try learning this and applying it for my design project hope you guys are having an awesome day I'll catch you tomorrow